So men, we have a choice to make. Keep falling to the same type of woman that we fall to or rise up because of a good one. I just had something told to me that was pretty, it's kind of disheartening uh, based upon what happened. So it was a gentleman that I spoke to a while back and it was like, we were talking about him getting away from a very toxic woman and we were talking about that he needed to be single and figure his life out. And we had this whole conversation talking about he needed to be single, figure his life out, do all the right things. And he agreed with me on all of it, that he needed to take a second, get his life together, figure it out. And recently, this was probably maybe no more than two months ago, probably less than that. And I just found out that the toxic woman that he was with before, he just ended up getting with her friend. So now he's with her friend. We have to understand this that if she is a friend to the toxic woman, she's exactly the same as that woman. So here's the thing. A lot of men, we have to understand this, and I see this a lot, is the way that the, the mentality of a lot of women now, because they watch a lot of the TikTokers and all that stuff, is to dominate men. And how do they do that? Well, it's the same Jezebel spirit we'll go over in scripture that is using of their sexual ple pleasing prowess to control a man. And what I see a lot is that men fall for it, including myself, is that we fall for the woman that wants to pleasure us in order to control us. And the thing is, is you build your life up to find the right woman and it should be the right woman. You know, a lot of people want me to go for different women that give me their phone number and this and that. And I, it just, it's hard to explain to them because you'll never get it until you get it is that I can tell the right woman, you know what I'm saying? I, I know who it's going to be. And I know that there's no reason for me to go after anyone else. If I already feel it in my spirit that, that it's not right. And that the reason behind that is, is because not only is it a waste of time, but it will bring me down as a man. The, the problem that we have to understand is that women have power over us and it's because we've allowed that. And it's not a way of being sexist. It's more of a way of a lot of women use sex in order to make a man f bow down to them. And a lot of men do that because what I saw with Buddy that we had a conversation with is that he can't, he can't go around just being single. He can't do that. He has to have a woman in his life. And the problem is, is when you have to have a woman in your life, you'll take anybody. And that anybody is going to be the one that just sucks you dry and doesn't allow you to pursue manly goals and desires. So again, this is, you know, this is completely off topic, but depression is, is directly associated with this because you, you, women control you as a man. And the funny thing is, is that a woman doesn't even want a man that she can control because that's not a man to her. So women don't even want that. They want a man that takes charge, that leads. And if your whole life is surrounded around having a woman in your life, which again, you find a virtuous wife, you find a good wife, you find favor in the Lord, that's a proverb, but you find a good wife. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just anybody. And I see a lot of men that we grow up thinking that we need to have that and that you're weird if you don't constantly think about that, constantly think about just having sex and getting women and all that stuff. But I end up seeing is that you end up going on this rotative cycle that never ends where you just constantly are chasing after women, never getting anything done. And all your goals keep slipping farther and farther away because you can't concentrate on them because you're only concentrating on this woman. The reason the Jezebel spirit has really taken over is because men have allowed it to. You know, we weren't supposed to be like this. We weren't supposed to be bowing down to the, the hoo-ha. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were supposed to dominate and lead and become the men that we were supposed to be. And now we've become these girly, sissy men that need a woman in their life. And that woman controls them because they've never figured out how to be a man. And it happens throughout the whole Bible. This is why reading the Bible is very significant because you understand that every single great man that was favored in the eyes of the Lord. 
If you're liking this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and if you want some exclusive content, check out the website, www.qbalifestyle.com. Give you Bible breakdown, exclusive videos you can't find on the YouTube. I'll see you guys there. Now back to the video. Falls because of a woman or because women, and they all do evil things because of a woman. They have this Ahab spirit that they get controlled by it. They get controlled by a beautiful woman. And th it's kind of funny, but Creed makes a great song called Beautiful, where it says, beautiful struck me, where we fall for beauty because beauty is pleasure. But that pleasure ends up making us a person that we don't want to be. I could tell you just straight, strictly from my, my last relationship is that she was very beautiful, but she controlled me because sex was constantly on her mind and she constantly used that to make me bow down to what she wanted to do and it happens a lot where women will use that pleasure factor to make a man do what they want him to do or to basically shut him up you know the thing is is that what i realize is you have to be single for a while and you have to understand what you're even looking for you know a lot of people want to find a woman but it's not a woman it's a good woman, a virtuous woman, a woman that's going to support you. And in order to do that, number one, you gotta know what you're looking for, which requires you being single and understanding what type of woman and understanding that a woman that's throwing herself at you is not the one that you want, you understand? And two, using that time to build yourself. You know, one of the funny things is that when I talked to this gentleman, he wanted to go to an upper part of Florida, talk to professors and start getting his life together and doing everything that he was supposed to do. And I was very happy with that. I was very like excited to see where he would go with that. And of course, he's with this girl now. That's all falling by the wayside. Just going to bars, drinking still. And it's like, we talked about this. But again, at the end of the day, just like Jesus says in Matthew, brush your, the dust off your feet if they don't accept it. This is their choice at the end of the day. But this is why men rise or fall based upon a woman. And we all understand that. And that is why waiting for marriage is such a successful part of this. If you do it right, if you become the man that you were supposed to be. And we'll go into the first one. And it's going to be Solomon. It's going to be 1 Kings chapter 11. Solomon's heart turns from the Lord. And King Solomon loved many foreign women as well as the daughter of Pharaoh. Women, Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sennonites, and Hittites, from the nations of whom the Lord said, The children of Israel you shall not intermarry with them, nor are they with you. Surely they will turn your hearts after their gods. Solomon clung to these in love. And we'll skip the 700 wives. For so when Solomon was old, that his wives turned his heart after other gods, and his heart was not loyal to the Lord, his God as was the heart of his father, David. So Solomon's a perfect example. Ahab's a perfect example. Uh, Samson is a perfect example. David is a perfect example. All these men were manipulated by sex, by a woman giving them pleasure, and then they did stuff that they wouldn't normally do. Again, like we talked about with the obesity, you have to understand how strong that this is. If you don't, you won't really want to get rid of it. But you have to realize that this controls you. It makes you a different person. A woman will make you either a good person, better person, she will build you up, or she will destroy you. And it's happened all over the world. What we have to understand too is that society has made it so that that's the way it's supposed to be. A woman is supposed to dominate you and supposed to overcome you and make you her slave or, or lead you. Where we see a lot of men where it's like happy wife, happy life. I don't, I mean, I believe in that, of course, but to an extent. You know, you have to be the man that leads your family. And if the woman is leading the family, then the thing is all off. And then you never get anything done. And I'm gonna talk to all the men out here on this video. Take some time. Take some time to figure yourself out. Take some time. It's okay to be single. I know a bunch of idiots are going to tell you that it's not. Take some time. Take some time to be single. Take some time to work on yourself. 
Take some time to figure out how you can build yourself into the man that you want to be. Because we all can. One of the greatest gifts that happened to me after when I decided, because I told a bunch of people, I said, I'm going to take a year. That was before I was a Christian. I'm going to take a year away from women and just focus on what I want to do. One of the greatest things is that it really does only just one year. And I've changed as a person. Of course, that's all glory to God. But take some time to be single, to not be single as in you just hook up and don't get into a relationship, but just honestly take some time to be away from women. And it may sound crazy to you, but use that time to start building yourself up as a man. Because right now, if I could be real with you, you're probably not even going to find the woman that you want because that woman is going to have things going for her. She's not going to be just one of the scrubs that's at the bar. She's going to have things going for her. She's going to be going to church. She's going to be doing all the right things. So you're probably not even going to find her at this point. And she also wants a guy to lead. You can't do that at this point. So take some time. I'm giving you strong advice. Take some time. And I'm calling all men out here. Because I'm done seeing men being dominated by sexual women and not understanding that it's happening everywhere and it's happening to you it happens to all of us because they've taken god out of the the schools and everything like that so you're taught basically to be the guy that just manipulates women and they end up manipulating you this is what i find so funny about a player is that they think that they are in charge of the women but in fact their sex is what controls you So you have no control over what you're doing because all you focus on is that. So you never get anything done. You never become the man you want to be because they end up controlling you. Even if you have a multitude of women, they are controlling you because you are constantly on thought about them. And I don't care what Andrew Tate or any of those people say. Having a good woman builds you up. Think of this. Andrew Tate has a bunch of hoochies that, you know, he talks about. Isn't he going to jail all the time? <laughs> Just getting cracked down by police. Women are, are telling on him in certain ways that make him get thrown into prison. Isn't that not an example of what crappy women will do to you? It happens to us, not to that scale, but they, they put us in our own prison where we can't escape it, that we constantly think about that. And what we have to do as men is become leaders and that takes time from being with women to just being with God and he will design you a new life that you've always wanted to do and it takes understanding what you're looking for and understanding that it's just been a a chasing after your own tail this entire time getting the same type of women and doing the same type of things and then falling away it happens to everyone but a man needs to understand that you know, of course, the problem is in the society is we haven't started as men. But when you find Christ and you find this channel, hopefully, just like, you know, David with Bathsheba, is that you find God, you apologize, and you fully submit to God so that he can take you away from these women and give you the right one. It's not going to be easy. Finding a good woman, of course, I'll tell everybody because I see a lot of comments here. Trust me, I, I haven't found one either yet. But God will give it to you. It's just going to be harder because that woman is much harder to find. Just like the narrow path to Christ, there's going to be a lot harder of a path to him. Well, that type of woman is much harder to find because, of course, most of them out there are Jezebels. They're not good. They just want to manipulate you and control you. So the one that actually wants a leader, first off, you need to be a leader. You need to be the man that she wants or else she's never going to look at you. And two, she's much harder to find, but much more worth it in the end because she will build you up as a man and make you the true man that you always wanted to be and will basically just shoot you through the roof if she's the type of woman that she's supposed to be because she wants that. But if you keep going for the ones that aren't, well, they're going to keep dragging you down because right now the whole philosophy in this society is if you destroy men then you've won the battle 
And they're trying to destroy us. And we need to stand up. And they're not even just trying to destroy us. They're trying to destroy actual women. Women that actually want to be a woman. And if they destroy the men, which they have, they take over the society. And that's what they're doing. So as men, if you're watching this channel, Jesus is with you. Fight against this Jezebel spirit. Fight against this and become the man you were supposed to be and find the woman you were supposed to be with. So if you want to be that dude that sits there going for the same Jezebel type of girl every single time and keeps getting his heart broken and wants to sit there and wonder why he's never doing anything he wants and he can't figure out how to find a good woman he thinks they don't exist when in reality he's just a pathetic man and they would never go for him but doesn't want to make a change and then just goes for the next hoochie that's at a bar we'll turn this video off but if you want to be that dude that understands that you got a lot of work you got to get done and going for these crappy women is not going to get you anywhere besides in the same spot that you are right now and you want to make a change and you want to take some time and talk to god and figure out where's the next way that you need to go and start taking that path so that you can be the man that that good woman wants to find and you want to be that dude that starts a family with that woman because he's the man that they've all been looking for keep watching <laughs> smells like hard work and determination boys hit that like and subscribe if you like this video I almost forgot that part um listen we need to understand that we need to stand up for this that the thing is is that most men are wussies they're just controlled by the the hoo-ha <laughs> that's all they think about even if they're christian a lot of them they just control by that and you have to understand that yes it's hard but you will find a good woman but you have to be a good man first and we have to start striving for that and if you keep going for these jezebels they're going to destroy you they'll continually do it and you feel it in your spirit right when you meet them and you have to stop that and you have to start taking on your responsibility as a man and start building what you need to build so that you can support that good woman because they want a man like that and there are good women out there, but it's much harder to find them because they're not looking for someone like you. They're looking for a good man who can lead. Ask yourself, is that you? Because if not, you have a lot of work to get done. Check out the website, guys, www.qbalifestyle.com. We're almost midway through Matthew, so check out the Bible breakdown. You got the lifestyle articles, the nutrition articles. You got all sorts of stuff that'll help you out. And then, of course, you can join the membership if you want some extra videos, some extra content. I put that on there weekly, sometimes throughout the week. Um, but, yeah, check out the website, www.qbalifestyle.com. As always, guys, praise God, love God. He is great all the time. Start fighting for Jesus. Become the man that Jesus wanted you to be because Jesus wants you to be a man. And if you keep going for Jezebel's, you ain't a man. Love you all. Jesus Christ is Lord. Peace.